Our first psalm for today comes from Psalm 21 in your red responsive Psalter. In your strength, the king rejoices, O Lord, and in your help, how greatly he exalts. You have given him his heart's desire and have not withheld the request of his lips. His glory is great through your help. Splendor and majesty you bestow on him. Your hand will find out all your enemies. You will make them like a fiery furnace when you appear. The Lord will swallow them up in wrath, and fire will consume them. You will destroy their offspring from the earth, and their children from among humankind. For you will put them to flight. You will aim at their faces with your bows. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. So our first hymn for today is number nine in your blue hymnal. This is the day the Lord we have. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't read that. A reading from Hebrews chapter 4, verses 12 to 16. Indeed, the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart, and before him no creature is hidden but all are naked and laid bare to the eyes of the one whom we must render an account. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. The word of the Lord. Indeed, 
the word of God is living and active, as the passage from Hebrews starts. It's something to keep in mind, isn't it? Especially today, where we have many different ways of expressing our feelings. Yik Yak, Facebook, Twitter, and the list goes on. So, we are able to speak our words to a wide audience, even anonymously. But do we ever think about the words that we say and what impact they may have on others? With this technology, we are actually enabled to instantly post, tweet, or yak whatever is on our minds instantly. Although, as it says in the scripture, word is powerful, it is active. That's something I actually learned in a communications course, the power of words. And thus being said, this may lead to some things being said that may negatively impact others. So our words do have an enormous impact on others' thoughts and well-being. And with this ability to post our thoughts anonymously, we have an even larger unknown impact. As people who are reading these posts um, cannot see or associate the person saying these words. And it's just like, imagine if we had a verse in the Bible um, and it didn't have someone we could attribute the verses to. There would be a different impact of that verse than saying if we knew someone who had written it. So, this ability to post words anonymously um, kind of has an impact that people may not having someone to associate it to to defend themselves. And this impact, when we think about it, how does this being able to post anonymously and to say whatever we like, how does that relate to living our lives in accordance with scripture and being nice to God's creation? And to keep that in mind, when we post these things, we have to keep in mind that as in Hebrews, all are laid bare in front of the eyes of the Lord. So even though you may at one time have this negative post and it may have an unintended impact, only we, the person who posts of it, are able to have that responsibility of what we say to ourselves. And we have to deal with the consequences of, these, of the fallout of these words. And the knowledge that we said, what we said, may in turn come back to haunt us as we face it in our conscience. So I challenge us as a university today and a community to keep in mind that what we say, our words, are indeed living and active, and that we, as children of God and human beings, have the responsibility to use our words wisely and to think about what we say and to use this power that we have granted to God of us to be able to use words to enact positive change in our world instead of beating others on our community down. And with this power, I think we can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. And we can change the outlook of young people and of this kind of social media to use it for good. Thank you. Our last hymn for today is hymn 520, May the Grace of Christ our Savior.